this. Nah. This is better. But I think this is better. So yes, I use my pillowcase for my bread bag. What about you? Can you please raise your hand if you buy your bread in plastic? Okay. So keep your hand there if you dispose the plastic once you're done with your bread. This year, the world will dispose around five trillion plastic bag. That's equal to 160,000 plastic bag per second. If you are curious how big it is, it's like going around the earth seven times with your plastic bag, and that's happening every second. And 80% of the trash in the ocean come from the land-based activities. 90% of it are plastic. And by 2050, we will have more plastic in the ocean than fishes. These facts bother me, especially coming from an island country called Indonesia, which has been nominated as the second biggest plastic contributor in the ocean. So yes, I want to do something about it. But like most of us, I am not a policymaker or a president. I'm just a fresh graduate student. So then I think about what is the location where I have the power like a president. And then I realize that each one of us are president and a policymaker in our own home. So I start my action tackling the plastic pollution problem from my home, from my comfort zone, from things that is close to me, my food and my groceries. I think most of you can relate to this. When you open your cabinet in the kitchen or when you open your fridge, you will see that your food is wrapped one way or another in plastic. So then I told myself, you know what? By January 2016, my New Year resolution will be stop using single-use plastic for my food. And I'm going to start a lifestyle called a zero-waste lifestyle. Initially, I thought it would be easy. I mean, I just simply don't have to buy food in plastic, right? But I was wrong. Because let me ask you something. When you open your eyes in the morning, and then you want to brush your teeth, what is your toothbrush made of? Plastic. And what about the toothpaste tube that you put your toothpaste in? Plastic. How about your drinking bottle? What is it made of? Plastic. And the bread bag. What is it made of? Plastic. Surprise, surprise, your clothes, which has ingredients of polyester, is also made of plastic. So yes, plastic is in everything that we own. I was stressed at that time, but I don't want to give up. So I start slowly, one by one, tackling the problem one by one. So then, I start the lifestyle of zero waste lifestyle, and I realize that, okay, you know what? I do this for myself, right? Turned out I was wrong, because what I do raise many eyebrows within my family, my friends, even the seller. My mom, she was furious when she heard about it. She was like, you're gonna die of starvation. And my friends thought that I'm crazy or I'm in a phase. 
The seller, you know, the baker where I went to with my bread bag, look at me with the strangest look, as if I'm a crazy human being. So then, when I saw that, I realized that what I do create bigger impact. What I do actually impacted others. So by 2017, I cooked up a plan. Together with the Nijmegen as the green capital of Europe, I pitched my idea to challenge the citizen of Nijmegen to reduce their waste for 30 days. We did a trial round, four times trial round in 2017. I got a very positive feedback. And by 2018, I have more than 500 participants to join the challenge. There you go. And this challenge is for everybody, for you, for your mom, for your grandma, even for your kids. Like, imagine that everybody doing this together. So with this, I would like to invite you, the resident and the citizen of Fanlo, to give it a try. Okay, you might get confused. You might be, wait a minute, I don't know how to do this. Well, don't worry, because I got the answer for you, at least some of it. The first thing that you can do is to get to know your waste. You need to know what kind of trash that you created before actually reducing it, whether it is plastic, paper, or organic waste. After that, you set a goal. One goal for 30 days. What do you want? You want to use your pillowcase for your bread? Or you want to stop buying bottled water? It's all up to you. After that, you can follow four different themes that I group uh, the 30 days challenge. The first theme is reduce. Try to reduce your waste as much as possible by bringing your own bottle, bringing your own lunchbox, bringing your own shopping bag. The second is to refuse. Learn to say, no thank you. So when somebody comes to you with a plastic straw that it almost get into your glass, what do you say? No thank you. When somebody gives you a bag, plastic bag, for grocery shopping, what do you say? No, thank you, exactly. As easy as that, just say no, thank you. The third thing is to replace. Once you're done with your stuff, you gotta replace it with the more sustainable stuff. Zero waste lifestyle is not about buying new things. It's about using what you already have. If at home you have a plastic bread uh, box for your lunch, or you have a plastic bottle that is reusable, Use that before you actually change it into new things. Because that's what is important. And once it gets broke down, you replace it to more sustainable option. And the last thing is to be creative, to make it yourself. In the past, it's almost impossible for me to find a zero-waste toothpaste. So what I do, I make it myself. Okay. Some of you might think like, okay, that's a little bit too far for me. <laughs> Don't worry, it's only take three different ingredients from your kitchen, and it took me two minutes to make a toothpaste tube last for two months. And if you're curious how, come to me afterward. <laughs> so then, what we can do is to actually reduce. This picture, you might get confused. Who are they? They're actually my parents. And if you take a close look on my mom's shirt, you'll see similarities on the one that I'm wearing at the moment. So zero waste lifestyle is not about buying new things. It's about cherishing what you have. It's about getting to know your culture, your family. Having this kind of conversation help you to actually get to know your family. I mean, if you would like to give it a try, the lifestyle, I'm sorry, but I have to say that it's not going to be easy. You will get strange look from your seller, like how my baker look at me the first time I bring my own back. <coughs> you will get questioned by people, why you do this? Or 
Maybe even have an uncomfortable discussion in the dinner table with your grandma or with your mom. But be brave, because what it takes is just one person to change the world. If I believe that I don't matter, if I believe that my action only for me, I will not stand in front of you here. I start from myself, and with this, I would like to invite you to start from yourself to, to give it a try, at least one thing. And now, let me tell you why the city of Fenlo have to give it a try for at least one thing. You remember the bread that I showed you just now? So this bag, everybody used this bag, right? And per week, maybe two or three times you're buying bread like this. If everyone in Fenlo buy three or two times of this kind of bread, per week, you will dispose around 200,000 plastic bread back. And in one year, that is already almost more than 10 million plastic bread back. If you're curious how big it is, it is equal to going five times around the earth every week if you put this bag side by side like this. So just by changing your bread bag, you already create a big impact there. So now, my question, are you ready to change your lifestyle? I cannot hear you. Are you ready to change your lifestyle? Yes. yes, that sounds good. Now, I need a hand. Who is ready to change it today? Perfect, amazing. So, let's do this together with me. Put your hand to the front as if you're having a bread bag and you're in front of your baker. So give it a try, right? Great, okay. Come on, the one that is on the back. I can see you. Okay, so now, repeat after me. Hi. Hi. Can you please put my bread in this bag? Perfect, thank you very much. <laughs>